legend the focus of arguments inside the Supreme Court today and protest outside. As justices consider whether corporations have the same rights to religious freedom as individuals, and if so, does that mean they don't have to provide health care for certain forms of contraception provided for in the Affordable Care Act? Jay Gray has a closer look. It is one of the most controversial and closely watched arguments of this Supreme Court term, a challenge to Obamacare by privately owned for-profit businesses based on religious freedom. We believe that Americans don't lose their religious freedom when they open a family business. Lawyers for the Hobby Lobby chain of arts and craft stores owned by evangelical Christians and Conestoga Wood Specialties owned by a Mennonite family told justices today that requiring companies to provide certain types of contraceptives violates the owner's Christian faith. We never thought we'd see a day when the government would tell our family we could no longer run our business in a way that affirmed the sanctity of human life. But the court's liberal justices seem to defend the so-called contraceptive mandate. Justice Elena Kagan saying, if the court grants the exemption, that you would see religious objectors coming out of the woodwork to challenge everything from social security to immunizations. Women have the right to make their own decisions about their health care and their birth control, and it's not their boss's decision. Solicitor General Donald Gurley argued freedom of religion applies to citizens, not corporations. He faced strong questions, though, from the conservative wing of the court. Justice Samuel Alito, referring to the First Amendment that ensures religious freedom, when he asked, what is it about a for-profit corporation that is inconsistent with the free exercise clause? The people united! Both sides in this debate will continue to exercise their freedom of speech, waiting on a ruling expected in late June. At the Supreme Court, Jay Gray, NBC News. The number of smokers in the U.S. has dropped significantly over the past 20 years, but the tri-state still sits above state and national averages. The Institute for Health Metrics Evaluation measured the percentage of daily smokers, and the new report says McDonough County is at the state average in Illinois of 13.7%, 7%, everybody else locally higher than that, and that is the lowest.